Hi there traders, this is Chris Keen from AkeenPointOfView.com. It was a slow and uninspired day of trading in New York, as most traders may have sat on the sideline in anticipation of news releases earlier in the week, uh, starting off with the FOMC decision on Wednesday, and then the ECB and the English Central Bank uh, rate decision. Then on uh, Friday, we have the non-farm pay reports, and in between all that, we have Draghi meeting with uh, the president of the Bundesbank, and there may be um, some news out on Germany's stance on further purchases or purchases of uh, central bonds in Europe. Now, what we need to uh, consider also is that the Olympics has kicked off in oh. London and London is the uh, forex capital of the world so there may be traders uh, just enjoying the uh, local atmosphere at the current moment uh, waiting for things to get a little more volatile heading into Wednesday uh, let's take a look at three pairs that there are um, a little bit interesting heading into uh, Asian and European trading. The first, of course, as always, is the Euro USD. As you can see, the Euro USD may appear to be uh, setting into a closing a bottom on the pullback from its move higher on Friday. Um, as long as the pair uh, remains above like the 122, 120, uh, 122.20 area, um, we could see a push higher. And the initial level of resistance, I believe, would be up at 123.30, then followed by 124. But if we do get a break of this uh, support at 122.20, uh, we'll, we could probably quickly go back to 121.80, and then it would be a reset to see where buyers could come in at that level in anticipation of positive outcomes um, to the, all the rhetoric that was passed down by by uh, Draghi and so forth last week. Uh, the next two pairs we're going to look at are, are in channels and they're near the top or bottom of their channels. Uh, the Aussie USD, as you can see, uh, has basically drifted sideways today. It did go down to test the uh, 104.50 uh, area, but now it's uh, back up towards um, at the top of his range, any any move up towards the 105.50, 105.40 level, which is uh, the ascending trend line uh, resistance level, um, it's, this is going to be a, a strong resistance zone. Any break above this would can indicate a breakout higher, and we could see a rapid uh, acceleration higher. But if this happens before Thursday, I wouldn't expect uh, Wednesday. I wouldn't expect a a big uh, pop higher. So we could find a move up towards this trend line. Would find sellers. And we could get a push back down lower with the initial support being a 104.50. And then if we happen to break that level, we could go all the way down to the 103.20 level and consolidate for the remainder of the week until uh, probably until Thursday. The last pair is the USD CAD, which is basically the same trade, you the inverse of that. And it is um, at the bottom of its channel. And we could uh, see any move down, which happens to be a parity, which is also a psychological level, as well as trend lines uh, support, ascending, descending trend line support. We could see any move down to that level, uh, get an initial push higher, uh, a break of that level. Then we would be solidly back in the uh, trend that was in the middle of the month, where we just basically moved between 99.20 and the middle of the month, the beginning of the year, between 99.20 and 10050. So I would expect buyers to probably come in at this parity level, and we should initially see a test of the 1050 area, and then followed by 101. Uh, as for data tonight, uh, the data front is rather slow, and we could uh, just consolidate for. Uh, consolidating Asian trading and then maybe get a little bit of fireworks in European trading. All right, once again, traders, this is Chris Keen from a Keen point of view, and this is Currency Watch. Remember to keep your trades keen and play it safe.